Why such a whale became thus marked was not altogether and originally owing to his bodily peculiarities, as distinguished from other whales. No doubt, it had thrice circumnavigated the globe. Were the Pequod to visit either of those spots at any subsequent corresponding season, she would infallibly encounter him there. And then, in the same crescent cash, all at once, mutiny in them. The same cash would soon cashier Ahab. While yet the wandering ship's company were gazed upon these strangers, Ahab cried out to the white turbaned old man at their head, All ready there, Fidella. Ready, was the half hissed reply. Read yourselves, cried Ahab. Give way, all four boats. Thou, Flask, pull out more to leeward. He bolts down all events, all creeds and beliefs and persuasions, all hard things visible and invisible, never mind how knobby, as an ostrich of potent digestion gobbles down bullets and gun flints. Who would have thought it, Flask? cried Stubb. If I had but one leg, you would not catch me in a boat, unless maybe to stop the plug hole with my timber toe. But all this was observed in him, and particularly his solicitude in having an extra coat of sheathing in the bottom of the boat, as if to make it better withstand the pointed pressure of his ivory limb. When, after all this silence, his unearthly voice was heard, announcing that silvery moonlit jet every reclining mariner started to his feet as if some winged spirit had lighted in the rigging and hailed the mortal crew there she blows had the trump of judgment blown they could not have quivered more 